Hi, this is Nikki Price from DiamondMLMTraining.com and what I'm going to do today is just show you how to set up a fan page to um, you know, really bring people to your site. You can use this as a sales page or you could just use it as some personal branding. Um, this is also part of my complete Facebook for Business training course. So, um, you know, this is just to help you out when actually creating the fan page section. So you can do it one of two ways. You can either go right to the bottom of your page and you'll see the little tab here that says create a page. So you can either just click that or you can go to Facebook dot com and then forward slash page okay and you'll get a screen like this which asks you what type of fan page you're going to create now if you're using this for network marketing um, you know remember attraction marketing you're, you're not wanting to directly promote your business opportunity to to ram down people's throats what you're going to want to do is to brand yourself um, so my recommendation is to pick artist band or public figure if you are doing a specific product page for your opportunity then you could pick this one but for now what I'm going to do is just select this so once you've selected it it asks you to choose a category well I think the most suitable really here is business person there's nothing about internet marketing or marketing on here so we're just going to select business person and then we're going to name the page now when we name the page again remember what I was saying earlier or earlier in the training if you haven't seen the training then um, you know I'll, I'll put a link to where the training is at the bottom of this video but um, you know essentially the difference between a fan page and a group is that you can actually promote this and the search engines do actually recognize the URL that you actually give to your page and the name that you give to your page so later on when you've got 25 people to actually come on board and like your page then you are able to choose a full URL so this can be changed but it can only be changed once so you need to just think about really your you know what is the purpose of this page if you're branding you what is it that you are doing if you're an MLM expert if you're a social media expert um, then this is where you can put it in here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually call this Nikki Price test page for the minute but what what I would put in here is probably um, you know one of my pages is diamond MLM and internet marketing training now there I've got keywords all in the title telling people exactly what it is that I'm doing and you know it makes it easy for the search engines to find me as well so it'll find me by name and it'll also find me by um, internet and network marketing okay um, so for the moment I'm just going to call this test page then you simply agree to the Facebook pages terms and conditions and click get started so it's going to have a little think about it and then it should take me to this page okay so this is the basis of my fan page and obviously what we're going to want to do is to start um, personalizing it so the first thing you do is go over to edit page and now as you see it's defaulted to the manage permissions and all you really need to do is to just go through these and set them up um, so I'll just have a, a quick run through and give you some ideas. Um, page vis visibility, yes, obviously um, you only want admins to see this page. Um, country restrictions, you can actually restrict to, um, well, there you go, entering one or more countries means that only people located in the countries listed will be able to view your page. So, you know, for most people, you're not going to want to um, tick countries in there unless you only want to speak in a specific language. You know, generally you want everybody to be able to find you. Now, if you've, this is really only for people who are doing something like adult content when you need anyone over 18, but essentially just leave that for 13 plus. Now, wall tab and default, uh, sorry, wall tab, um, this is really if you want people to come and post on your, uh, you know, you might want to invite people to come and post on your wall within the fan page. And, you know, this, this will, um, decide what is actually shown so you can show only the posts um, that are actually on this page you know created by you on this page or whether you're going to be able to show all posts that come through on your feed through your other pages okay uh, your default landing tab. Now this one's very, very important because once you've set up your pages, we're going to add a couple of apps here later, but once you've set up your pages, when people actually search and find your page and link to your page, you're actually going to want a default landing page 
preferably one that's got an offer on it with an opt-in form. So for the moment it's defaulting to the wall because we've got nothing else or that there'll be in infos and photos but later on we're going to have some add-on pages here with different apps and those ones are going to be the ones that we want to change this so this we will come back to to change this posting ability if you're going to invite people to post on your wall um, to start with I would recommend that people can post anything you, you know you might want to keep an eye on this very closely because if people start spamming your wall then you want to get rid of it quickly um, you know you might want to stop people adding photos you might want to stop people adding their own videos but essentially to start with I would leave them like this until or when people start to abuse it in which case just unfriend those people anyway because you really don't want people like that um, and you can actually block people um, just as I said there comma separated list of terms or people to block um, right, so if you wanted to delete the page, which obviously I'm going to do later, then you can permanently, well watch that, that will permanently delete your page and everything that's attached to it, so obviously you don't really want to uh, do anything with that. Each time you're going to save your changes, let's have a quick look at your settings, um, posting preferences, comment and post on your page as Nikki Price. Um, you know this this is a default this is actually going to be very important and this is covered in in quite depth in um, my Facebook for business manual because this can be extremely powerful because you want people to follow you back to this page so if you comment and post on your own page as your page name um, then you are uh, well pe people will see that it's you responding but you can also then go and comment on other people's friends and pages as your page name and that is very powerful because people will then think oh this person's giving me a lot of content and they're going straight back to your page where they'll hit your sales page so that you know that's quite important and this is just about the notifications um, when people post or comment onto your page Basic information, okay, um, we selected people and business person and it tells you here again that you do need at least 25 fans to have a username. Once you've got your 25 fans, you just go to facebook.com Facebook forward slash username and you can change your name, but think about it carefully because you only get to change it once. Um, so there's my page name. Um, you can fill in as much information there as you want to if you're affiliated with anything specific. Um, you know, if you're particularly proud of one association, you know, you might want to put it here. Um, biography, I tend to put a very brief paragraph in here, something about, um, you know, how much you love what you're doing and, you know, the, the real benefits of, of what you of what you can do with your time so you know you're trying to show people that you are successful and that you love what you do um, but I would make it very brief there and then always put a link back to a main blog or website that you have that details a lot more about you so for example I would always put here um, something like you know loving life to the full and then I would put uh, after the end of my paragraph for more information um, please go to or to find out probably to find out more about me I would say and then I would just put the link to my about me page oh dear what's going on here um, so diamond MLM training dot com forward slash about me or about I think my pages um, and that also will then give you some nice you know, follow up juice to your to your blog or to your website. If you've won anything, any awards, if you are, um, you know, if you're a high achiever in your business, if you've been on stage to collect something, you know, put put them down here. Um, people will need to see that you, that you're successful. Select gender. That's pretty obvious. Um, if you want to add anything personal about yourself, your family, you know, and your personal interest, again, I would encourage you to do this because it does make you seem more human to the people that uh, that are coming to your page. And people, you know, will check you out, and they're always looking. You know, remember the saying: people will do business with the people that they know, like, and trust. So the more they know about you, the more that they can resonate with you, and um, you know, the, the more that they might want to do business with you. And then just put in your details again. Another place there to put your main website that uh, that can go back uh, and give you some more backlinks. So that's great. Uh, profile picture again for this one it's personal it's about you but make it a business type photo um, now I'll show you uh, can I show you mine from here let's go to mine 
so there's my main page and you can see from here I didn't actually do this myself I got a friend to do this so this was just a, a picture that I had and she put it onto this background and put this information so this, these aren't clickable but it does tell people how to get hold of me um, so you know I would recommend a, a professional looking photo if you've got any photographs of you with you know people in your industry anything that can give you social proof as to um, you know how successful you are or who you hang out with um, you know then then certainly add those as well into your uh, into your profile pictures now the featured ones um, you can go and add featured likes here but you have to like someone first so you, if you go and like a page find somebody who's really top dog in your industry again if you go back here um, the people that I've got here I've got one of my other pages here but all these people are real top industry earners in my niche and people that I like that I respect that I do their training so these are my featured likes and this doesn't change and obviously I've liked a lot of other pages other than this um, but these are my featured ones because I want to show people the sort of people that are you know that I relate to um, and that's me below okay so uh, and this is where you add the featured page owners you literally just get a, a list of the pages that you've liked and then you can just pick out the five that that you really like the most um, now develop your page connect with people I think that's probably all we need to do just at the moment um, Oh, one key thing um, manage admins something that I would seriously recommend is having another administrator on your page now if it's your partner your wife your husband um, or just a business par partner somebody whom you you trust completely because if ever for any reason your page was to get shut down or your account remember you know it's all very well us um, putting everything onto Facebook but ultimately you don't own this and Facebook can shut down your account for whatever reason they so choose if you breach any of their um, terms and conditions so what you don't want to be doing is to build this up massively with a with the <laughs> loads of friends loads of um, videos loads of articles and then have your account shut down and have no way to access it so if you've got somebody that you trust put them in here who's they must also have a Facebook account and you can make them an administrator so that if you get shut down they can then get on and get your stuff out for you um, so that's quite an important point other than that I think that's all we need to cover just in the purpose of um, setting up the basic page in the next video we're actually going to talk through how to create a, a fan page um, by linking it through an app to, uh, to, to a, a basic web page with a, with a nice offer on it. So I'll speak to you all then. That's Nikki Price with DiamondMLMTraining.com.